for Michigan native Max Jones, the decision to join the OHL's London Knights has worked out even better than he imagined. Well, the fan base here in London, that was very surprising. Obviously, you want to play good in front of whoever's watching, you know, but, uh, you know, you're doing it for your teammates first, and uh, when you're out there playing in front of that many fans, it shows, uh, you know, what, what the league's about and, and uh, what the kind of fan base is like here in London. I don't know, I think like the locker room, like everything's just cool, everyone clicks and stuff and, and, and uh, everyone's just so nice and, and uh, I don't know, I just, this team like really fits in together so I, I think those are uh, really surprising to me and, and uh, I just enjoy it a lot. Jones clearly felt welcome on the high-powered London attack, recording two hat-tricks in the first month of the OHL season. And the winger's rugged, all-out approach to the game made him an instant hit with Knights fans, teammates and coaches alike. He does compete, he works hard, he skates, uh, you know, extremely fast. Everything he does is extremely hard. And he's one of those prototypical new NHL type players. He's, you know, 6'2", 6'3", can really skate, very hard shot, all his skills, five tool type of player. Now in his NHL draft season, Jones is eager to hone his game under the London Knights top notch coaching staff. They're awesome. Uh, they're so easy to, you know, talk to and really easy on the bench. They're easy going. It's easy to speak to them and, and uh, they're very, uh, they have a lot of knowledge. Obviously, Dale's got a lot of knowledge uh, coaching in the pro leagues and, and he's he's played there and, and he knows everything about it. So uh, everything he says, I listen to and I always just kind of sear it into my brain and kind of let it uh, kind of just model into my game. Shows how improved he made his, uh, his penalty kill. It's, uh, you know, he's worked our penalty kill up from 20th and now that he's been on there, it's up to third or fourth, I think, in the league now. and. Uh, you know, putting that to his game, we, we talked to him about it, and uh, I think it's just skyrocketing him in the, in, in the charts. By midseason, NHL Central Scouting rated Jones 11th in North America for the 2016 NHL Draft. Yeah, it's hard not to think about it. Obviously, it's, you know, it's the NHL draft, so it's, it's, uh, it's been a dream of mine since, uh, you know, I've ever, ever since I was a little kid, so obviously I'm going to think about it, but I try not to as much as I can. And just try to play my game, and, and that's what I focus on every day when I hit the ice. Jones shares his NHL draft year with number five ranked defender Ole Joe Levy and the top prospect in North America, forward Matthew Kachuk. The trio hopes to follow Knights captain Mitch Marner, fourth overall pick to Toronto at last year's NHL draft. Obviously, uh, Kachuk and uh, Yulevier, they're really good players, so it's nice to share it with them, and, and it's nice to be around Marner and, 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 you know, how he's already went through it and, you know, get his pointers on some things, and it's just, uh, you know, he tells you to just focus on hockey and let everything else come to you and just kind of keep it in the back door. Uh, you know, we just try to tell them to calm down and, you know, and, and to make sure that, you know, they play within the system at the same time and, and, and to improve their game. It's, you know, a lot of the scouts, they don't just look at points and goals and stuff like that. There's a lot of different aspects of the game. And these guys all work hard. I think it shows in, in, in where they're rated. Without the hard work, uh, you don't get that highly touted. The Knights are also highly touted as a team, consistently ranked among the CHL's top 10. But as they prepare for the OHL Western Conference playoffs, two of junior hockey's other top teams, Erie and Kitchener, are waiting to do battle. Everyone's got to be uh, coming to the rink every day and, and digging deep and, uh, you know, it's just good. Well, we're going to have to dig deep into ourselves and know what we want and, you know, we want to win, obviously, and so does Erie and Kitchener and, you know, they're both really good teams, so uh, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be really tough, but hopefully we can get it done. For Inside the O, I'm Chris Schooley.